Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Legend of the Eyes. By the time you're watching this, this mod pack is officially available to the public. So you can play this mod pack right now yourself, right now. So if you're interested, be sure to go ahead and download the FTP app, find the Legend of the Eyes and start playing. There's a link to the app down below in the description. Highly recommend you to do so. It is a great fun pack. Speaking of which, in the last episode, we discovered a very interesting place. This right here. It's a dungeon. It's a very cool thing. And I want to, well, not only explore more of it, I want to loot it. I, I want to loot it, not only because of the loot, but also because we will be able to find potentially our very first eye, because this can very rarely be found in FTB dungeons, and I have found one. Uh, so, I want to uh, do that. I also have a backpack, which is going to make things a lot easier. I have a crossbow, which is very nice, so I think we just go ahead and head down into the dungeon. However, before we do that, a little bit of a word from this video's sponsor. My second channel. Yes, I am adding a sponsor segment for my second channel because I can. Anyway, if you enjoy watching my content, my second channel is basically where I upload non-Minecraft things. So for example, I'm currently having a series with Slime Rancher, also doing a little bit of a mini-series with my friends where we're playing Raft. I just recorded an episode of Valheim, which could turn into a mini-series as well. You get you, you get the idea. So if you're interested, be sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel, link down below, and if we could get the channel to 1,000 subscribers, that would be pretty cool. But anyways, let's get let's get to raiding this dungeon, which I think I'm actually going to break this waystone. Hope that it... Okay. I need to place a new name. That's fine. It counts as undiscovered. I'm going to go down here. I am hoping that I won't die straight away. I will equip my shield, and then I will place the waystone down here, because I think it would make a little bit more sense. Don't know why I didn't block that up. Okay, yep, we're back in the scariness. So I'm place this here. Dungeon! So now I can teleport back here. Alright, good. Let's proceed. So I went through all of this in the last episode. Then we got to this point right here. I haven't been down there. And that is where we stopped. I think I got everything that is lootable here. Alright, let us proceed. I need to get back into the swing of things. Right, yeah, I haven't looted all of this. Definitely will though. Uh, don't know if I want all like the candles and whatnot. Oh, I love that. That's new. That's new. I'll take it. I'll take it. Of course, getting extra hearts is definitely going to be really, really good. Don't know what I need to eat to get that. Like what I'm missing. I don't quite know what I'm missing just yet. But we will find out together. Right. The spawner over there. There's also a spawner over there. But I think I can... That's a creeper. I think I can manage to go ahead and steal some things from this. I already have iron armor. Blast protection, aqua affinity. Yeah, blast protection is probably going to be more useful. Definitely get all the stuff from here. Again, don't know if I need the candles for anything specifically. Candle holder. Yeah, I think I'm good for now. Oh, a stack of wheat. That's nice. All right, I'm gonna tackle, oh boy. I'm gonna try and tackle this. Aha! Okay, multi-shot for the spiders there. Really, really effective. Now, I just need to run through here. Place down a torch. I saw diamonds in the ground. Got it. There's a zombie over there. I saw diamonds. I saw diamonds. I think, pretty sure that's our third diamond. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. Some of these chests can be trapped, actually. Cryptic enchant. Don't know what that is. Hey, buddy. I forgot to check if this was trapped or not. Melon seeds. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, two of them. I can deal with normal zombies. Would have been an issue if I hadn't gotten all my hearts back. Oh, this leads to a cave area. Okay. I'm also hearing a bunch of silverfish, which I don't like the sound of. Do I want to explore this? I'm at minus 38. What's this? Sink ore from create. Don't think I'm going to need that right now. I think I'm just going to focus on the dungeon here. Uh, There's a chest up there, actually. 
That is indeed a... Oh, hello. Lots of useful stuff. Ooh, golden carrot. That's something new I can eat. That's something new I can eat. A flame bow. That's very cool. I will not say no to that. However, I'm not going to use it right away. Oh, it has a building crafting table, I think. Okay, that, that, that's cool. I need the stuff that's up there. Well, I don't need it. I want it. <laughs> I wonder if these alarm blocks are going to be enough. Yes. Another crossbow. Mending. Multi-shot. Uh, it doesn't have multi-shot though, but it's still pretty good. Amethyst shots and sand. That's pretty decent. Not gonna lie. Also the ambient down here. Ambience down here is really, really cool. Do we have spawners in here? Nope. And it's not trapped. That one isn't either. Good stuff. Ooh, note block. Mangrove wood. Spruce wood. I mean, I'll take all the loot I can get. Definitely. Again, what I'm primarily here for is the eye. The old eye. Oh, and stuff like this. Skulls of Skull, Golden Apple, Silk Touch, Unbreaking Efficiency, Mending? Huh. Wow. Did... Perfect. And I think that's the end of this branch as well. Well, nope, I forgot about this part. I forgot about this part. So if I can just actually bring it immediately. Please. Got it. Good. And I really hope these pressure plates are not trapped. Oh. I heard silverfish. I hate silverfish. Silverfish are bad. Silverfish are no good. Arrow swiftness. I guess that could be useful. What do we have here? What do we have here? Secret chamber. And spiders in the area. Two diamonds! Efficiency four? Wow, this place is good. Okay, so there's a branch there. I can eat the golden carrot. Ah, I thought I would get another heart. Don't know what I haven't eaten it yet. I don't think I have eaten a cake. I have eaten a spider, a spider eye. Don't think I have eaten a golden apple either. So that's also a possibility. However, I feel like that should be kept for emergencies only. That's a mine shaft. Oh, hello. Hello. Please break faster. Thank you. Yeah, that's a that's a mine shaft leading directly into this dungeon. So look at that. I forgot to check if it was trapped again. <laughs> that's gonna be the death of me one of these days. Blaze rod. Glow die. Okay, this is beautiful. I mean it is visually and also when it comes to loot. <laughs> Let's just have a quick peek here. So have a quick peek after putting some of these things away. That's pretty much all I can carry in my backpack. Okay, yep, yeah, that's a lot of stuff. Oh, and lava. Okay, this, this I didn't mean to break that. I didn't I did not mean to break that. I I know it's not part of the dungeon, but I do want to check this place out a little bit more. We are down to minus 30. We could potentially find diamonds down here. I mean, look at this place. It's cool. No. Cave spider. Not cool. I mean, look at this. What am I seeing? Why is it only over there? I'm going to assume it's a shader glitch. <laughs> Ow! What? Okay. Let's see how it is. Attacking a guy while he's looking at the scenery. Not cool. I will grab a little bit of redstone. I think I already have a stack or so. But just to be safe. What I would really love to find, though, are diamonds, but I don't know if that's going to be possible down here. Don't know if we are far down enough. Lots of mobs, though. I don't see any diamonds, unfortunately. I do see danger, though, so I think I'm going to kill these guys and head back to the dungeon where I came from. I guess I have to be lower down for diamonds. That's fine. Jumping back the hole I came from. Now with that, this branch is, I think, fully looted, and as a celebration, I shall... Wait a minute, have I been down here? Oh, I haven't been down here. As a celebration, we're going to be eating a cake. I still need some one other food. I might eat a golden apple for it, because I'm desperate. <laughs> I might do that. I may perhaps do that. Okay, this is actually very dangerous. <laughs> very uncomfortable doing this staircase thing. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully there's no spawners down here. 
I think I see some sort of flame. Could be a candle. I think it's just candles. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm not trapped. Ooh, golden carrots, leather. Not bad. This place scares me. Nope. Still not. Oop. Skeleton spawner. Skeleton spawner. Skeleton spawner. Perfect timing. Beautiful. No backup for you. Okay, let's check this real quick. Not trapped. Ooh. Ooh, I'm breaking three. That's an upgrade. Let's see what's up here. Ah, death. Yes. Very, very dangerous to... Is there even anything over here? There's a chest. Oh, diamond sword. Ooh, diamond sword. That's a... That's, a, that's an improvement. No other chests, though. I'll leave a torch, though, so I can see I've been here. <laughs> Alright, what do we have here? Water. More loot. Strange holds bedrock? Wow. I mean, I'll take the lapis and the ores and everything. Hopefully that's not trapped. I'm very... Very worried that some of this is going to be trapped. Uh, don't really need the mushroom. Actually, that just reminded me with that recipe unlock. Recipe, um, mushroom stew. That is obviously something that we can go ahead and make. Oh, I don't need that many mushrooms, really. Ideally, I just need those. <laughs> I could make a... Let's make a crafting table. Let's make a crafting table. If I can get an 11th heart right now, that would be cool. Then we have this. There's a spawn over there, but it's all... Oh. There we go. I think I got it. Not trapped. I hope. I really hope. Yep, we're good. Very, very good indeed. I am also completely out of torches and I don't have any coal. I hear it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> and now I can mine uh, these ores right here because they're free. Now, I just have this to go down. I assume it's supposed to go down further, but the bedrock has stopped it. I assume that was what's supposed to happen there. Oh, I missed that one. I missed that one. We can't have that. Oh. Lingering jump boost. Unbreaking protection 3? Yes. Please. <laughs> okay. This has been a really, really successful. I'm going to head home. Need to... Oh, I need to climb this staircase now. I'm going to head home, empty my inventory and whatnot, and yeah, I... Oh! <sighs> I haven't found the eye yet, though. Or an eye. <laughs> uh, so I think we're gonna keep looking. And I will mark this as completed with a block of oak planks. Uh, right there. Done. It's been done. Perfect. Yes. Teleport home to Sky Village and get a good, well-deserved night's rest. Also, if you're asking, is there any, any form of... No. No storage management whatsoever. I wish there was, and I do need to do it a little bit, but I am hoping to very soon being able to potentially set up this because we have in storage and more we have inventory connector basically tom's simple storage mod we do have a diamond so this right here connects all the touching inventories into one use the storage terminal to access all of your items trims can connect to gaps so that's cool then we have inventory cable which is also pretty affordable inventory trim Right here, I guess that is to expand and so it can touch more inventories. That's also cool right there. Uh, storage terminal, crafting terminal, four diamonds. Storage terminal, doable maybe if we find some glowstone. That would be very lovely if we could get that. I do have, how many diamonds do I have is the question. Um, I have two in here, that's why, I need, that's why I need the storage. Two and then I have three in here, so I have five. Meaning I could afford that because that's one diamond and then 
that's doable, maybe. And yes, I have just enough, actually. I think we'll do that. And then I can also upgrade up my chest to copper chests. Because I have a ton of copper. I think there's going to be a plan. There's just one slight issue, and that is the glowstone that we need for the storage terminal. I don't have glowstone. So either I need to find some somewhere. Or... I sacrifice a diamond pickaxe so I can, or some diamonds so I can get a diamond pickaxe so I can get obsidian. Or I need to find obsidian somewhere. We do have the rune portal there, so we do technically have the obsidian. But if I use three diamonds, well, then I will be lacking the diamonds for the storage, but then I could get those in the dungeon. I am kind of intrigued, actually, to see how the nether looks. So I think I will be sacrificing uh, three diamonds. I'll just have to loot more. I'll just have to loot more dungeons. Um... Yes, I, I guess so. <laughs> and I think I have a waystone. No, I do not have a waystone down here. How am I gonna... Oh, I can... If I drop down, I won't be able to get up as easily. And I have to walk all the way over here to that. Yeah, I guess that's fair. I guess that's fair. Can I jump down over here? Yes. Whee! That's scary. <laughs> nice! Oh, and I'm immediately met with hostiles. 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 Hostiles in the area. Hostiles in the area. Please, go away. Thank you. Now, I think... I need to do this quick. <laughs> I think... Oh, I love the progress bar at the top. I love that. I think I don't want to put the portal here. I'm going to put the portal in the village. However, that could be... I don't know how dangerous that is. Don't know what's through the nether, but we're gonna find out. Also, I can eat now. So hopefully another top? No. But I did make an advancement. Okay. I wonder actually. I'm just looking at that squid and wondering. Oh, and the salmon. I think I've eaten that though. However, not raw. Wait a minute. I have an idea. I have an idea. Raw salmon. Don't think I've eaten that yet. Also squid. I assume might drop squid. No, just in sacks. Okay, sorry. And that's the final obsidian piece. Now I need to go to this waystone over here to get back home. Thankfully, it shows up on the minimap, so it is pretty easy to follow. And here we are, waystone located, heading up to Sky Village. Kaching! All right, flint and steel has been crafted. I guess I could make the... Let's just make sure there's no villager on the other side of this that then gets trapped. Nope, we should be good. I could have fallen to my death there. All right, let's place it. It won't be symmetrical, though. I don't have enough to make it symmetrical. I guess I could build it right here. That was kind of... Fine. Also, I can eat raw salmon now. Hmm. Interesting. Pilot journal. Maybe that is something I should have had at the very beginning of the game. Maybe. Anyway, that aside, we now have a portal, and uh, I'm gonna go through. <laughs> Hope for the best. And here we are. Alright. And there's a guest right away. Right away, there's a guest. Come on. Can we return to center? That would be cool. Come on. Don't make this difficult. Thank you. Okay. Good. Good stuff. I have access to quartz, gold. What's this? Sulfur? Yep, sulfur. And also glowstone. Perfect. And of course, the other fortresses and bastions and things like that. And we do have a map here. So I can use this to my advantage. And there's a. Whatever these things are, but we do have a fortress pretty close to us, actually. That's good to know. I don't think I'm going to go there quite yet, though. I just wanted to peek my head through, take a look how things are looking, get the glowstone, and get back out. No guests here, unfortunately. All right, let's see. I'm eating a breath. Nothing in the diet journal. Hmm. Oh, well, maybe it's a bug. All right, well, now we have the glowstone. However, now I'm missing the diamonds. So, guess what I'm doing? 
Yep, back to it. Now I suppose it mainly makes sense that I go down the path that I have not yet gone down in. That lava is a little bit deadly. And I hear zombies. I hear zombies. I thought that was a witch. That chest is trapped. Good to know. And I almost opened it without disarming it first. That could have been catastrophic. Quite literally. Yeah. Ooh, diamond ore though. Diamond ore. You really gotta keep your eye out for that then. Because they can be found apparently. I mean clearly. And let's break this. Oh no. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up, please. Hold up. This is an emergency situation. There's a frog there. That is not the emergency situation though. Eat the berry. Okay. And break this. I don't know, maybe the food thing is broken for me. I have been playing this world since uh, the early access, so maybe something has changed that I haven't noticed or something. I'll try and figure that out for next episode. But for now, as long as I have my normal 10 hearts, I, I, I'm, I'm happy. Ooh, another diamond. At this rate, we're gonna get the diamonds not from chests, but from the surroundings. I'm not complaining though. Not complaining at all. I didn't check if that chest. You know what? <laughs> I should really learn from. Well, I haven't really made the mistake yet. That could be the issue around here. Break this and pick this, just so I don't have to craft it. Thank you. What? 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 Trophy? Trophy. Huh. That's cool. That's actually cool. A trophy. I'll take it. All these traps look good. Ooh, beetroot soup. I mean, I'll, t I'll take that. I will actually also... Yep, grab a grindstone. <laughs> that way I also do not have to make that. Do I have any food here? I haven't actually... Don't think I've eaten any... Might have eaten chicken. Just give me the chicken. Thank you. Actually, give me all of these. Maybe I'll be able to use the campfires. And I'll take the food. And we have another ladder, this time leading down to... Probably what the other ladder was supposed to lead us down to. Uh, you know what, I'll take the flint just in case. Wait a minute, these are blocks of coal I didn't realize. Okay, this room just got a lot more valuable. And new recipe unlocked. I picked up the smoker, apparently? The smoker can be turned into an oven. Okay, that's cool. Very nice. I heard chest, not chest, pressure plate. Oh, the frog, okay. So from this room, I've gotten 28 blocks of coal. That's not bad, you know. All right, let's check out this room. Oh, that's a spawn. Okay, that looks cool. That's actually looking really, okay, hold up. Trident? Can I get a trident, maybe? Please die. No trident, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It could have been. It could have been. Beetroot soup has been consumed. Oh, three diamonds, charged bolt mending, unbreaking three, loyalty. Yes. That chest was worth it. Oh, we have a cave back here, too. Not gonna explore it, though. Not gonna explore it. Gotta stay on topic. Well, actually, I already have everything that I need. I just kind of want to finish exploring this branch now. However, that could be a lot depending on how much this is going to do. Okay, this. Okay. Bunch of droppers and hoppers. Uh, let's open this. Beetroot. I mean, yeah, I'll probably need this stuff eventually. There could be some stuff in these, maybe? I doubt it, though. I mean, hoppers uh, are expensive, and droppers are just... Okay, droppers are not annoying to make. The dispensers are, though. But I'll take them. Oh, this leads out to the cave just like that. Nice. All right, I think I will end the exploration right here, though. I do want to keep going. But I do want to set up that storage. Oh, there's a spawner up here. Didn't even see that. Wow. Really gotta keep your eyes open down here. Oh, a ladder here? Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, we'll be back. 
probably next episode. Was that an open TNT? That's an open TNT. Yeah, that, that's dangerous. <laughs> I'm going home. All right, well, with that hole, I should have everything that we need to make this thing. All right, let us get started. So, in here, inventory is sorter. I need resin comparator. Uh, oh, I need an ender pearl. I need an ender pearl. I don't think I have one of those. I do have the comparator, though. Well, I know one place I might be able to get one. What? This is not a place you really should be, but if you really want to, go right ahead. Now, what we have is this. Oh, look at the glow from the shaders. Eh? I'm sorry, what are you? And. Ender Warthog. Oh, this is not how I want to go. This is not how I want to... Okay, got it. And the levels dropped to the lap. <laughs> and it didn't drop anything. Huh. Well, that's dangerous. Now I'm hoping to find an Enderman. Yeah, right there. Hi. Okay, lag. 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 Okay, so I think I should be able to do this and say, hey, I'm look. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Aha! Gotcha! The axe is probably going to be a lot more efficient at this. And. Yes! Perfect! First try as well. This has to be fixed because that's a deadly drop. And back home. So, with everything, I think I should be able to now make the inventory sorter. Or connector, not sorter. <laughs> Perfect. So, I can... Okay, no rewards. Perfect. Inventory cable. That requires a chest, some sticks, planks, trapdoors, all the stuff. I can probably make it? Maybe I just need a chest. And just like that, inventory cable has been crafted. Perfect, and we can make some trims here, which I think, I'll, I'll show you how I think they work anyway. And boom, we got the trims. Next is the storage terminal, which is pretty important. We need to get some glass, we need to get that glowstone we got. Oh no, I need, I need two redstone comparators for, not the trims, for the crafting terminal. Nope, for the, nope, for the storage terminal. I need two comparators. Uh, well, actually, that should be easy. I just have yet another journey to make. Uh -huh. Perfect. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Boom, and... Boom. Perfect. That means... Oh, missing... Oh, I'm actually all out of wood. Going here. That should solve the problem, I hope. Okay, that is technically not me, so I'm just going to clean up the little bit of an error that has occurred here, and uh, yeah, get, get rid of this stuff right here. That way, I am not leaving a hanging tree, and I am, in fact, cleaning things up. Ow, go away. Bad. And just like that, see? I, I've cleaned it up. i cleaned the place up, and I need to go back home. And now it's raining. Perfect time to go back home. Oh, I love the sounds, the ambience, everything. I love it. Absolutely love it. All right. I should now be able to have enough to make the chest, and then the storage terminal, and then the crafty terminal, except I just need one, one, two, three, and boom, crafting terminal. Sweet. Wireless terminal. Yes, that, that's actually pretty pretty cheap to make. Advanced wireless? Okay, yeah, not that. But this is actually manageable, but not now. Now I want to, I think, go to bed. So maybe, okay, maybe not. This should fix that issue. Nice. So the way that I think this works, give me a second here, let me organize stuff. Right, if I have this right here, inventory sorter, right? If I place this here on its own, it doesn't do anything. If I place the crafting terminal on this, 
Well, nothing happens because there's no storage connected. However, if I place a chest right there, connected to this, we now have storage. And the things that are in this chest can now be accessed through this. However, my question is, if I go ahead and lead an inventory cable... Yeah, they don't connect. They don't connect. So, what? Why would you then use the inventory cable? Connect inventories across long distances. Inventory cable connectors have to be used to attach inventories. One inventory connector must be present in the network. Interesting. So if I go ahead and place this here, this doesn't connect to that either. But if I place the trim, they're now connected thanks to the trim. So as long as they're touching the trim or the trims, everything is connected just like that. Okay, but why would you want the inventory cables then? I guess to connect either the crafting terminal or maybe to another inventory connector? No, not even. Not even. Huh. Well, that is quite alright, because this is all that we need to set up a little bit of a simple storage. However, I'm going to go ahead and craft two more chests, just like that, and that is plenty of... Pl enough wood usage for today. Then I'm going to grab all these cover. I heard grass immediately, I'm thinking creeper. And we're going to get copper chests, because those are much bigger. Uh, oh, okay, I did <laughs> you didn't see that. I broke it. Yeah, that happened. Yay, sleep. Now I can go ahead and upgrade these to iron, but I don't exactly have a lot of it. I have 42 here. Let's just see how much I have in total. 52, 61. Uh, that is cutting it. I have three raw iron here. Not a whole lot of raw iron here. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. How much gold do I have? <laughs> Quick conclusion, not enough. So, I think what I'm gonna do is place them here, holding down shift. Not like that. Place them down. And this is basically just one double chest. So, if I place this here, and then crafting terminal, I should be able to access all of these chests. Yes. That is perfect. I can break this. I can just well, plop everything in there. And it functions exactly like you would normally use a storage. You can change how they are showed. Sort item amount, sort item name. You can standard search, auto search, standard search keep. So if I search here, it syncs up with REI. Pretty cool. One crafting. Yep, that's a that's a very nice one right there. So basically, just like if you had refined storage, for example, you just use it the same way. Simple as that. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I just found an ender pearl. Hold the phone. Hi. I thought it was a baby zombie. I do apologize for the video length of this one, ladies and gentlemen. I think it is getting kind of long. However, I really do want to set this up. So, right... No, that's that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Redstone comparator, spyglass, just like that. And I think we have enough to make the wireless a terminal. And apparently I already had redstone comparisons. Never mind. I don't know how to uh, extend your reach for the terminal. Terminal reach 16 blocks. So if I just right click this, shift right click maybe, punch. No. Shift right click, shift punch. Oh, there we go. It's working. Nope. Nope. Don't know how it works. Oh. I think I right click, punch, shift click. No idea how this works. Oh, I know how the I know I know now. Right now, I can't reach it. Now I can. So for standing all the way over here, I can use it to do that. It's not so I can just stand over here and start using it. Okay, that makes total sense. That would be a little bit OP if I could do that. But guys, with that, I'm going to call this an episode. We didn't get an, an eye 
unfortunately yet. Um, hopefully, we will be able to do that in the next episode if we continue to uh, explore this those dungeons, which I really want to do. However, I also have the nature's compass and one of the other eyes that we can get if we go into the final. Nope, not that. This, the pyramid of the sands. Find a pyramid comes with a free. Uh, get the cursed eye. The cursed eye is available front and center upon entering the pyramid. Uh, this would be very cool. However, that would require us to find a desert, which we have 2,083 blocks in that direction. So I think that would be a pretty cool mission, so <laughs> we, we have some choices. But like I said, that's going to be it for this episode. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and enable those notifications so you don't miss the next episode. And once again, if you are interested, check out my second channel for me playing non-Minecraft games. But with that, hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day, and until then, goodbye. Yeah.